I asked ChatGPT to write me a rap song about my merch from Spreadshop. Survival is simple, just don't die. And I want to read it to you. I'm not a rapper or anything. I don't sing even, but I think this is the coolest thing ever. So, so I hope you enjoy this. <laughs> all right, rap song about survival. In the wild, it's all about survival. Don't need no luxuries, just gotta stay alive. Keep it simple, don't overthink. Just find shelter, food, and a clean drink. Survival is simple, just don't die. Stay alive, stay sharp, and you'll fly high. Out in the bush, with nothing but trees, survival is simple, just don't freeze. <laughs> Nature's harsh, but you gotta be tougher. Find a way to make a fire, cook your dinner. Don't let the elements get the best of you. Just stay calm and you'll make it through. Survival is simple, just don't die. Stay alive, stay sharp, and you'll fly high. Out in the bush with nothing but trees, survival is simple, just don't freeze. So when you're out there in the wild and free, just remember, survival is simple, just don't die. And you'll come out on top as the ultimate survivor. <laughs> that is hilarious. This is so cool. And I've been playing around with this a lot and I've been doing all sorts of different rap songs about survival. <laughs> But yeah, this one right here is based off of my merch that I drew. This says survival is simple, just don't die. Uh, so yeah, you can check this out on my spread shop and you can rock this also. <laughs> I'll see you next time. It's been a while since I've filmed with my GoPro. And so I just want to take it out, bring Raven on a quick hike in the woods. <laughs> This video is just going to be a pretty chill video. I'm just going to go through the woods and just talk. I have my uh, backpack that is weighted right now with me. It is, I think, 25 pounds of weight right now. I've been walking around with about 20 pounds of weight for the past week and a half or so. And just today, I actually just increased it by five pounds. And even if it's just five pounds, I am feeling a slight difference. So I'm gonna be hiking around in this weighted backpack for maybe a week, and then I'll add five more pounds to it to make it 30. But today, this morning, I caught a squirrel, but you'll already see the video on it. I caught it this morning, but I'm not really prepared to do anything with it just yet because it's going to get cold and it's kind of cold today. Today is going to actually be the nicest day in the upcoming week. And I actually am gonna be going to a ice palace thing uh, with my family. Um, it's gonna be really cold. I don't know if it's gonna be enjoyable or not. Hopefully it is, hopefully it looks nice at least and it's, and we're gonna take pictures and stuff. It'll be really cool, but I hope it doesn't get too cold. But right now I think it is around like 13, 15 degrees or something. It was about 30 degrees this morning. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if I can keep this daily video thing up for very long. <laughs> it is exhausting. Like I love doing it, but it's, it's, it's exhausting. Like. If I'm doing a video a day, I literally have to spend most of my day like filming and editing. And I have other responsibilities that I have to take care of too. But I'll see how long I can keep it up. Um, I do want to space out my videos a little bit though. Because I want to be able to produce quality videos also quality videos take a little bit longer to make um, especially if I want to use like two cameras and that's what I want to really do because it looks really nice if you watch my turtle video I use two cameras and I kind of switch between them and it looks really cool <sighs> so these woods are nearby my house And I come here very, very often. At this point, whenever you see this, 
it's likely the woods by my house. And it kind of is boring me now. <laughs> I want a new site. I want like new woods that look different, you know? I want different geographical sort of landscape and stuff like that. So like maybe a place with a stream or maybe a place with a lake or more like rocky cliffs or something, you know? I'm kind of sick and tired of seeing all of these cottonwood trees. These are all cottonwood trees that are mostly in here. There are some like maple. There's not a single oak in this patch of woods. But it is nice to come visit these woods and walk the trails though. So my plan for that squirrel, I wanna make this like soup. I wanna make like this creme fraiche soup or something, like this really creamy soup. Uh, I saw this video on TikTok of a woman making a sort of like a salmon soup, like a creamy salmon soup. She used like potatoes, onions, carrots, I believe. And then she put in like fish stock and then a bunch of cubed salmon. And then afterwards she put in, I believe like creme fraiche to make it creamy. And so what I plan on doing is essentially the same thing, but I would use like the meat portion or like the protein will be a squirrel instead. So it'll be potatoes, onions, garlic, carrots. And then as far as the stock goes, I'm gonna use a uh, beef broth. Yeah, so beef broth, then throw in the squirrel. Like I probably would chop up the squirrel and then throw in creme fraiche afterwards and then kind of make a creamy squirrel soup or stew. That sounds really good. Otherwise, another alternative idea to cook the squirrel would be to make like a chili. That would be really nice. Here's the difficulty with doing this video. It's incredibly cold and it's so challenging to like make videos and do stuff when it's this cold or when it gets really cold, when it's like the single digits. And so the shed isn't entirely like done as far as like cleaning and such go. And I still don't feel confident enough to really be cooking in there right now. I guess like it'll be in a pot and stuff. And so it wouldn't be that much of a big deal, but like the loft, is probably filled with like mice poop. And so, and so like, I don't know. I just feel a little iffy about, about like cooking and eating and stuff like that inside of the shed right now. So I'm probably going to have to move the wood stove a little closer to the shed so I can at least be halfway in the shed for some sort of shelter. And hopefully the wood stove will keep me like warm enough while I'm cooking. And then there's the whole like processing of the squirrel too. I might have to bring it inside and then do it because I don't want my hands to freeze while I'm like processing the squirrel. <laughs> Cause yeah, it's gonna go to like the single digits and negative uh, temperatures uh, pretty soon here, so. I don't want to be doing all of that, at least not yet, you know, like I'm not trying to survive in the wilderness right now. <laughs> I'm just trying to learn and uh, it's better for me to learn in a somewhat controlled environment and uh, in comfortable environment. But then I guess you can argue that if I learn in a difficult environment, I can retain the experience a little bit better. I learn better. You could argue that, but I don't know. I'd rather be comfortable at the moment. <laughs> All 
All right, come on, this way. But yeah, oh, yeah, Raven and I have been walking around in here for a while now. It's pretty cold, but I'm surprised Raven is able to handle it pretty well. She has the undercoat, and I'm sure that undercoat keeps her warm. Thanks for watching so far. I appreciate your views and your comments and your support. It means a lot to me. This keeps me going. And uh, one of these days, I'm going to reach my goal of getting that piece of property and then starting a small self-sustaining homestead where I am raising small pigs, chickens, rabbits, maybe even a goat. <laughs> I'll have solar panels, water collection system, a bunch of storage for food, and explore all sorts of stuff. But yeah, right now, is doing things little by little until I get there. Let's go, Raven. We're going home. <laughs>